Hello everyone, myself Rajat Kumar Sabarwal and today I will talk about life cycle of Anopheles mosquito. Okay, so um, I am going to talk about life cycle of various other kind of mosquitoes also but in this video I am going to talk about Anopheles. Now this Anopheles, then we have Culex, then we have AD. So these are the different strains of mosquitoes which are named according to the location they are found, their different characters which we are going to discuss and life cycle and the diseases they cause. Now when I talk of mosquito then ultimately what strikes your mind is that teeny tiny insect which buzzes around your air, right? But in biological terms we define them under firstly in class insecta and order diptera you know mosquito are insects right and the order is diptera you know we have kingdom phylum class order family genus species this is the biological classification amongst that we put it under class insecta and order diptera and diptera means di and terra if you break the terms that is, it has two wings and one pair. Two wings means one pair, one pair, right? So that is the order of mosquitoes, that is diptera. And then we define metamorphosis. Metamorphosis, when we talk of insects, there are different kind of metamorphosis. But in terms of mosquito, it is a complete metamorphosis. Now, what does that mean? Complete metamorphosis, that means it is going to start with egg, then it is going to change to larva, then pupa, and then adult, okay? But before going to the life cycle, something I want to clear, that is, we, you know, we have male mosquito and female mosquito, we have a clear sexual dimorphism. Now, you are sometimes, I think, curious, that is, who is biting you, that is a male or a female, so I want to clear that. They say male mosquitoes don't lay eggs, and that's why they don't need blood meals to lay eggs. That is the reason they never bite. Okay. And females, on the contrary, they lay eggs in order to do so. They need blood meal for the development. When you read malaria ka life cycle and you read insects ki life cycle in detail, mein dekhte ho, that is, when disease phases, ho, you see, RBCs are the structures. That is, our blood cells, jo hai, they are the structures where their gamogony gamete formation hoti hai, egg formation hoti hai. That is why we are saying females need blood meal for development. So females do bite humans. Males never bite. Wo generally plant sap ko suck karke apna jo hai sustainment karte hai. Okay. So as I was telling you the metamorphosis is complete and we have structure. that is egg larva pupa and adult so it starts with egg then the larva then the pupa and the adult this is the life cycle of Anopheles mosquito and which we will be dealing in detail so it all start with eggs see this cycle that is egg larva pupa adult in different strains of mosquito this is same but there are various methods there are various differences on the basis of which taxonomist or any biologist is going to differentiate that this is the Anopheles mosquito, this is Culex, this is Aedes or any other mosquito and this is going to cause this disease and see that is the way how things are done. So talking of the eggs first, so when we talk of the eggs of mosquito, Anopheles mosquito especially right now we are talking about. Here, eggs are laid singly on the water surface. You know that mosquitoes, egg ling, etc. are aquatic. Hoti hai. So, eggs are laid singly on the water surface. Water surface, pe aise singly padi hoti hai eggs. Hai? And they are boat shaped. You can see the shape here. They are boat shaped. And they have a pair of lateral floats. That is the way you identify it. Lateral floats hoti hai, that jo help karti hai basically isko float karne mein. Thik hai? So that is about X laid singly and boat shaped with pair of lateral floats. Next we have larva. Jab hum isme larva ki baat karte hai, so they say it floats horizontally placing its body parallel to the water surface. If this is the water surface, this is the body of the larvae which is generally placed 
पैरेलल टू दी वॉटर सर्फेस ये भी डिफरेंसेस आते हैं तो क्या होता है कि फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर ए बायोलॉजिस्ट एंड इफ यू आर आस्ट टू गो टू वाटर बॉडी एंड चेक करके आओ वहां पे कि दिस इज द लार्वी ऑफ विच मस्कीटो सो दैट यू आर गोइंग टू आइडेंटिफाई थ्रू दी बॉडी पॉस्चर किस तरह से उसने अलाइन कर रखा है वाटर सर्फेस पे इफ इट इज हॉरिजोंटी प्लेस इट इज एन ऑफ लीज मस्कीटो लावा ओके एंड When we see the detail, they say इसमें क्या होता है the spiracles. अब आपको पता होना चाहिए when you are talking of insects, these are the little questions which are generally asked in every other kind of exam. आप कोई भी objective देते हो bank है railway exams है then your ICMR, your आयकर exam or any other exams. So spiracles क्या होते हैं So spiracles insect में respiratory structures. As we have lungs. they have spiracles so here spiracles of eighth abdominal segment they open on the swelling placed side by side ki yahan par eighth abdominal segment ye segments you see firstly this is head this is thorax this is the abdomen with segments 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is the eighth abdominal segment and that is the place jahan par iski spiracles present hoti hain so they can ask you that is on which abdominal segment spiracles of an ophelia mosquito are placed so you can say eighth abdominal segment and if we talk of the respiratory siphon so generally kya hota hai respiratory siphon ek structure hota hai jo siphon jo water surface se bahar ki taraf protrude kar pata hai jiski help se insect and wo usko terrestrially respire karne mein bhi help karega but in this case since it is parallel to the water surface so respiratory siphon is reduced in the larval stage got it and then you have compound eyes then antennae so that is you know antennae for the water surface mein vibrations ko sense karne ke liye danger sense karne ke liye and they have compound eyes also compound eyes are the complex eyes for a wider vision okay then talking about their pupa pupa is case mein greenish color ka hota hai which is obviously not visible here but it is greenish in color and dorsal respiratory tube is small and flat ab aap pehle to structure mein dekho kya kya milega you will get to see the compound eye you will get to see the antennae cephalothorax cephalo cephalo is for head and thorax is for thoracic region which is fused here that is why it is called as cephalothorax this region is cephalothorax then respiratory trumpets respiratory trumpets jo hai basically respiratory structures hote hain as you have spiracles in the larvae these are the trumpets here and the tail fin this is the tail fin that is large so this is the identification of the pupa of the anopheles ultimately main aapko in the end बताऊंगा कि डिफरेंसेस क्या थे अबाउट द थ्री मॉस्किटोस देन अबाउट द एडल्ट व्हिच इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू नो कि द मॉस्किटो व्हिच इज बाइटिंग उसका एडल्ट देख के यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई कि वो कौन सा मॉस्किटो है सी अगर आप एनोफिलिस मॉस्किटो देखोगे द विंग्स आर गोइंग टू हैव डार्क स्पॉट्स विंग्स पर सी दिस इज द हेड दिस इज द थोरैक्स जिससे कि हमारे लेग्स अटैचड हैं then this is these are the wings and this is the abdomen okay and proboscis hoti hai proboscis is the structure jo ultimately suck karne mein blood ko help karti hai so wings have dark spots when it sits see body ka jo posture hai jo posture banta hai body ka along with the surface that is a really really important criteria which is chosen to identify is this anopheles is this culex or is this aedes mosquito In this case, they say when it sits, the body makes acute angle. Acute angle, you know, which is less than ninety. So this is the surface, and this is the body alignment. So it is like this, which is forty-five degree, almost less than ninety at least, with the substratum, and proboscis is in the line with the body. अगर मैं इसमें proboscis की बात करूँ, this is the proboscis. You can see the structure. It is in the line with the body. these are very little little things which are used for identification and they are going to differ in different kinds of mosquitoes that is why hum unko jo taxonomists hain unhone inko alag alag genus name diye hain ek ko anopheles kaha hai ek ko aedes kaha hai ek ko culex kaha hai and then their species are also different according to the place where they are found sometimes okay then the wings are having dark spots then the body makes acute angle with the substratum proboscis in the line with the body and scanty or insufficient air jo iske antenna honge 
यहां पर बहुत ही इनसफिशियंट से बहुत ज्यादा नहीं बहुत इनसफिशियंट अमाउंट ऑफ हेयर विल बी प्रेजेंट देन बोथ बॉडी एंड लेग्स आर नैरो अगर मैं इसकी बॉडी की बात करूं दिस कंप्लीट थिंग एंड द लेग्स यू कैन सी दे ऑल आर नैरो थोरैक्स इज क्लियर उस पर कोई मार्किंग नहीं होती दिस रीजन इज विद नो मार्किंग एंड इफ आई टॉक ऑफ द टिप ऑफ द एबडोम ऑफ द फीमेल जनरली क्या है कि जो फीमेल के एबडोम का टिप है वो ब्लंट है ब्लंट विच इज राउंडेड एटलीस्ट नॉट पॉइंटेड एक होता है पॉइंटेड एक होता है ब्लंट ब्लंट जो पॉइंटेड ना हो विच इज काइंड ऑफ राउंडेड ओके उसकी बात करते हैं देन वी जनरली डिफाइन अ स्ट्रक्चर विच इज कॉल्ड एज सरसाए एंड जैसे कि इस केस में जो सरसाए होते हैं पॉइंटेड स्ट्रक्चर होते हैं सरसाए बेसिकली एनल अपेंडेजेस होते हैं एंड हेयर सी दिस इज अट्रक्चर दैट इज अरसाई इट इज काइंड ऑफ अंसरी स्ट्रक्चर सेंसरी सेंसेशन में हेल्प करता है दैट इज रिट्रैक्टेड मतलब ज्यादा बाहर की तरफ नहीं निकला हुआ रिट्रैक्ट थोड़ा सा कर्व्ड हो के वहीं पर रिस्ट्रिक्टेड है एंड इट प्रोड्यूस इज अ पेक्यूलियर साउंड दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट की अनोफलीज मस्कीटो की आपको एक पिक्यूलियर सी साउंड मिलेगी जब आप कभी If you are not, you know, identifying it with your eyes in a dim light, you can identify them with their peculiar sound. So that is about the life cycle in which I told you about their eggs, their larva, their pupa, and their structures. How you can identify? Where I um, told you the very, you know, characteristic points. By which you can say that okay, the eggs are like this. They are having air floats, so this is the anopheles. The larva is horizontally parallel to the water surface. That ये anopheles का होगा. Okay, pupa. The tail fin was not that elaborate. It was having respiratory trumpets, so it is the pupa of anopheles. Okay, so body me proboscis and the abdomen they were uh, like body or proboscis were aligned in one line. The body was making forty five degree with this. सबस्ट्राटम दैट इज जहां पर वो लैंड कर रहा है सो अल्टीमेटली दैट इज एन ऑफ लीज ठीक है सो दैट इज द वे वी डू इट्स लाइफ साइकिल आफ्टर दैट यू नीड टू नो विच आर जनरली आज इन एग्जाम द डिजीज ट्रांसमिटेड बाय एन ऑफ लीज सो जनरली जब आप मलेरिया की बात करते हो सो मलेरिया इज कॉज बाय एन ऑफ लीज मस्कीटो नंबर वन नेक्स्ट इज लिम्फेटिक फाइल एरियाज ओके पहली बात लिम्फ एटिक लिम्फ इज फॉर जो आपके जैसे लिम्फ नोड होते हैं लिम्फॉइड ऑर्गन जो अल्टीमेटली बॉडी का जितना भी टॉक्सिक नहीं बोलूंगा जो गंदा वेस्ट मटीरियल है वो सारा जहां ड्रेन होता है वो आपके लिम्फ ऑर्गन होती है सो लिम्फेटिक फाइल एरियाज वाई फाइल एरियाज बिकॉज इट इज ट्रांसमिटेड बाई फाइल एरियल वर्म वो चुरेरिया ब्रैंक ऑफ टाइ ये बहुत स्पेसिफिक एमसीक्यूज होते हैं जनरली आपके एग्जाम्स की और एम एस सी एंट्रेंस इवन they ask you that filarial worm that is which area branch of tie it basically transmits lymphatic filariasis and anopheles mosquito jo hai wo carrier ki tarah yahan par kaam karta hai then several arboviruses arboviruses pe they can ask you the generally jo viruses arthropods cause karte hai na isme mosquito specifically aa jate hain they are the arboviruses एंड उसमें आपका इक्वाइन एनसेफेलाइटिस वॉट इज इक्वाइन इक्वाइन इज फॉर हॉर्स एनसेफेलाइटिस जनरली स्वेलिंग एंड इन्फ्लमेशन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर आइटिस वर्ड वी यूज अपेंडिसाइटिस टॉन्सिलाइटिस आइटिस इज फॉर इन्फ्लमेशन जब वो जगह इन्फ्लेम हो जाती है एंड इक्वाइन सो बेसिकली हॉर्स के केस में जब एनसेफेलाइटिस होती है दैट इज ऑल्सो वन डिजीज ट्रांसमिटेड बाय एनोफिलीज मस्कीटो सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द लाइफ साइकिल एंड एंड आई ऑल्सो टोल्ड यू अबाउट द डिजीज वेरी मेन डिजीज विच आर ट्रांसमिटेड बाय एनोफिलीज मस्कीटो ओके थैंक यू